Science is public. Once you make a discovery, it's everybody's. And as glorious as it is to have a Nobel Prize, you're quickly forgotten. At lunch, I quizzed the students. I said, quick now, who won the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2004? No one could remember. 2005. So we've become footnotes. The science lives on, and that's the important issue. And while there's no ownership of science, there are trends. And I think there's no question that Russian science, and physics in particular, has pre been preeminent. My year, 2003, two Russians received Nobel Prizes in physics, Valery Ginsberg, here in Moscow, and Alexei, Ab Alexei Abrakosov, who was working at the University of Illinois. No, he was working at the Argonne Laboratories in Chicago. So two out of nine laureates that year were physics Russian scientists. So I think there's a trend there. I think in the life sciences, U.S. has had a tremendous advantage. But things change. I think the investment of science is an important issue, and the precious interests of the young scientists is the major determinant of who will succeed in science. If you have young people excited about science and train them, they'll do great science. 